How's it going everyone? Jake Adams here and uh, if you've been following the channel for about the last week or so I have been touring a bunch of different aquarium stores in the Sydney area and uh, this was an amazing introduction to the Australian reef scene and uh, we've seen so many beautiful corals, tons of rare fish, uh, some beautiful displays and uh, Australian reefers are just really really uh, personable and friendly overall and uh, so now it's time for a change of pace. I've traveled to Cairns in Queensland to visit the one and only Cairns Marine. Now this company has been around for many, many years and they are absolutely one of the world leaders in uh, providing sustainably caught fish, uh, sustainably harvested corals. And I've spent the last few days here just walking around, really getting a good feel for what this place is all about. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff inside. So let's go in and check it out. All right, so we're about to walk into basically Cannes Marine. And one of the biggest surprises that I had when I visited this place, when I first walked in, is I had no idea that it had this beautiful retail showroom uh, for the local scene. And I, I totally, totally was not expecting such a beautiful boutique of a retail aquarium display. They've got tons of great products, obviously some amazing displays. This is a really rare sight at wholesalers. Uh, usually they're so busy, you know, packing boxes and taking care of their fish and their corals that uh, they rarely have time to feature some beautiful uh, aquarium displays. So this was an amazing surprise. And um, yeah, I just want to tour the facility, the, the showroom just a tiny bit to show you uh, what they got here because this is a beautiful, beautiful showroom. Uh, have I mentioned it was beautiful? All right, so uh, we'll work our way around. It's a beautiful, uh, innovative marine abyss peninsula aquarium. This is probably one of the best examples of this unique uh, aquarium shape that I have seen uh, set up. There's a, an amazing little uh, a red jawbreaker patch right here with a couple Darwin Nocellaris clownfish hanging out inside. There's a bunch of different uh, aquarium displays already set up and just a beautiful, just gorgeous presentation of a wide range of very useful aquarium products and devices. So they've got it thoroughly covered from top to bottom, uh, additives, test kits, uh, protein skimmers, pumps, everything you can think of. So one thing I do really love is these displays because each one is lit by different lights and they, um, they kind of have a different theme. And this is a, you know, among one of the smallest uh, reef tanks I've seen here in Australia. So it's really cool that they don't have one, they have two and some more. So right over here is the main reef display of Cannes Marine. The aquascaping is absolutely impeccable. We've got two bombies and they're both of different sizes, different heights, and it really makes for a beautiful, beautiful presentation. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this tank is it's mostly dominated by soft, uh, soft corals and fleshy LPS corals. And everything is looking in the peak of health. Um, this is a Red Sea, I'm guessing an E series. It, uh, it's loaded with some uh, AI LEDs and these are uh, primed, or not, they're not primed, they're actually uh, adjusted really, really well. And there's a, a gorgeous, gorgeous, elegant coral right there in the back. So, um, moving right along. Here's another one of the reef displays. This appears to be a Red Sea reefer. And uh, this is almost an Acropora only tank. And it's filled with a variety of different corals. And if you're following along, you know that these are all from Australia. So really beautiful display, uh, very awesome presentation. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look here. We've got another batch where all the, uh, the high-end equipment is located. Bossman reactors, propeller pumps, we've got a prime LED, some radions, ICP test kits from Triton Lab, and the brand new Illumagic style. Very, very cool. So, so yeah, this is a quick look at the uh, Cannes Marine uh, Aquarium showroom. Uh, very cool surprise. So this is, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So I think the ambassador to this showroom is a curious little devil here named Bacardi. Bacardi likes to stick his foot out and invite people to pick him up. And once he's got them, he will give them a good bite. So, but um, if you know what you're doing, if you're a bird person, you can give them a little scratchy poo and then uh, move on unscathed. So bye Bacardi, say bye bye. So here's an overview of the Cannes Marine Wholesale Livestock Holding Area. This is where all the fish come in and are sorted, they are processed, they are fed, they are cared for. I'm just going to take a quick walk down some of these different rows and show you some of the uh, 
kind of the Australian classic aquarium fish. Uh, starting off is a big tank full of Labuti wrasses. I remember when this fish was so rare, you could pay up to $200 a piece for them. You're still a, kind of a pricey fish, but it's just really a totally different experience to see a tank literally packed with them. And that's not the only one. There's another one right here. And you can see these fish are already acclimated to aquarium life uh, because they're begging like crazy. These guys are hungry and they're ready to be fed. So these guys really get taken care of a lot. Next tank is a tank full of Lineatus fairy wrasses. This is another uh, Australian classic aquarium fish. Uh, so beautiful to see them all together. What's really cool is when you have so many of these in one tank, they don't really have the opportunity to be uh, belligerent with each other. But if this fish was rare or really, really hard to get, there's no doubt that this would be one of the most highly sought after but fairy grasses for home aquariums. So it's truly a sight to see so many of these in the tank, all looking beautiful and studly. So before I move on, I kind of want to explain a really cool system that Cans Marine uses to basically keep track of all their aquariums, their fish, and what they need to do at a glance. So Clearwater is the name of one of their boats. And uh, I think the other one is called the Sharpshooter. And you'll see we got multiple tags here. So this is the boat tag, and this is a tag basically instructing uh, the caretakers on the needs of these fish. So you'll see that card said multiple times a day. That means these fish can really get pounded with food and uh, they look really, really beautiful. So Cans Marine places a really great emphasis on how their fish are collected and how their fish are harvested. But in my opinion, what what, you, what Cans Marine does that is really, really unique is how they handle the fish. When the fish are just coming into aquariums, this is one of the most critical stages for success, uh, for long-term success in an aquarium. And these guys are all fed and uh, cared for uh, expertly, and this really sets them up for success in the long term. And I think this is what Cans Marine does that is really, truly unique. So there's absolutely way too many fish in this place to give you a really thorough overview of the, uh, the livestock that is held here. So I'm gonna try to do kind of a quick tour and just really stop at some of the most prominent animals. They just got a big shipment of fish yesterday. So there's a lot of fish here that are fresh off the boat, many of which that I have not seen yet. So uh, this, these guys right here, they look uh, like lawnmower blennies, but as you can see, they're actually swimming in the water column a little bit more. They got that beautiful hyphen that sets them apart. So some of the fish are kept in big groups, but you'll notice that uh, some of the pygmy angel fish basically are one or two species per tank. So those guys have a lot of room to swim. And I love these cards. I love these cards. They are uh, very informative. So there's no question about what these fish need to be happy in this particular environment. This livestock holding facility is actually pretty warm and humid, so you'll see that a lot of the tanks are really, uh, really wet. I love this clown trigger. He's just a beautiful tank buster adult. They're really personable. I saw him the other day carrying a piece of uh, one of those uh, PVC pieces, and uh, just to give you a size reference, this guy is really, really big. He could do some damage, as he's trying to do. Um, so there's another beautiful animal. I'm gonna take a walk down the smaller fish holding tanks because these are gonna be a lot more uh, relevant to home aquarium keeping. So there's a lot of bread and butter fish here. We've got a ton of uh, Australian yellow assessors, some uh, McNeil's assessors, and uh, these are the Fusilier damselfish. All very, very cool uh, animals. But what I really wanna show you is this very rare uh, uh, Bodianus hogfish uh, from deep water in the Coral Sea that was very recently described. Um, I believe it's a uh, Bodianus venati. Uh, one thing that's really cool to see is these big showy butterfly fish. These guys, butterfly fish are really not appreciated in the aquarium hobby as they should. Most of these large specimens are probably destined for public display because to take care of them, to show them off right, they really need a big tank and expert care. So. Here's a very special angelfish that came in on the boat yesterday. A uh, rare white bicolor angelfish. And in addition to having a white uh, front part of its body, its tail is actually mostly black. So even if this fish uh, yellows up across its body, that tail should remain. But a really, really cool animal. You can see here uh, the white specimen compared to the yellow uh, bicolor angelfish. It's a really, really striking uh, animal. 
So here's an Australian uh, Great Barrier Reef Aquarium Fish Classic, the Harlequin Tusk, also known as Harleys uh, here in Australia. There's a ton of different Harlequin Tusk fish. These guys came in on the boat just yesterday. And uh, as you can see, they're all separated. They're all beautiful. And one of the things that always kind of struck me about Harlequin Tusks is that they're all nearly identical. There's no, never an aberration, never any weirdos. And uh, one of the things that typifies the Australian tusk fish is uh, a much more brilliant coloration than the uh, Filipino counterparts, especially those big burly blue teeth. Look at that tank buster, he's such a stud. In addition to some uh, Australian classics, um, there's a couple really, really weird rare fish at the end that I've already filmed separately and uh, I really want to show you guys. So it's getting a little bit dark and a little bit loud, but it's really, really well worth it. Over in this section are some holy grail fish. So this is, what do we have here? This is an Odontanthius, a Borbonius anthias, and here's a Bennett's Plextranthius. This species was discovered uh, by Tim Bennett and collect, first collected uh, deep water in the Coral Sea. Uh, it was described less than a year ago, but absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish. Really personable. Right now, since he's in, uh, in uh, low light, his color is really, really pale. But uh, in an aquarium environment, it should really, really shine. Moving right along, one of the most holy grail of fish is this gorgeous Abeai angelfish. Um, they've had this fish, I think, for upwards of a, of a year. And uh, I think that the Abeai angelfish from the Coral Sea are the first to be made available uh, to the aquarium hobby uh, since this fish was introduced or first described and discovered. It only comes from very deep water. I think it was first discovered from uh, some deep sea submersibles uh, in Palau. So it's a real treat. This is the first time I've ever gotten to see this fish and he's absolutely uh, loving life. He's uh, fat and happy, he's uh, eating everything. Uh, he's a little bit shy because he's usually got this card covering his, uh, his, uh, his cubicle. So uh, we're gonna just put that there and move right along. I, there's no way that I can cover everything. So I'm just gonna show you some of the really large vats that they have here at Cannes Marine for holding a wide variety of aquarium species. Some of these are packed with uh, blue tanks, but I'm gonna go over here and show you some of the really, really showy fish. Got another big lot of uh, large showy clown triggers. Some more fish, some more fish, a real big, beautiful uh, lined butterfly fish. Um, like again, like again, these butterfly fish really have to be adult sizes to truly appreciate how colorful and beautiful they can be. So it's a real treat to see a uh, lined butterfly fish here that uh, is doing really, really well. Here are some of the large fish uh, holding bats, and this is where some of the showy species are kept, like this blue, uh, this blue faced angelfish. It's probably around 15 inches long and uh, destined for a really cool life at a public aquarium. But uh, the coolest fish I want to show you are actually on the other side, so let's go over there. It's way beyond the means of this video to discuss all of the fish and all of the pools. The one pool that I want to show you in particular is this one right here, which is filled with a lot of really large showy fish, especially some large adult uh, tangs and uh, surgeon fish that you almost never see outside of public aquariums. Uh, what's of particular interest to me are these naso hexacanthus tanks because we don't really ever see those in uh, aquarium life. Those guys are almost like surgeon fish who have uh, turned into tuna and they swim around the open ocean basically eating uh, free floating foods instead of uh, being really tied to the reef. And there's a familiar flamingo tang. Another species I really want to show you is uh, the tuberosis tang. It's got a, instead of having a unicorn, there he is. Instead of having unicorn, he's got a big old bump on his head. And finally, a very large blue line uh, sea bream. These guys are super cool and uh, just a couple of years ago, these started becoming uh, available captive bred from Biota in Palau. Really cool fish. It was one of the, my first favorite fish when I was a kid. So really cool to see these large adults. Because behind this window is one of the ultimate absolute ultimate marine fish of all time. It's a logo for Cannes Marine, the one and only Napoleon Rass. And this guy is a big bruiser, big guy. Just tons of personality. So this is the business end of one of the coolest fish 
Hylenus undulatus. This guy is actually CITES listed, so there's a very limited quota in Australia. I think it's like 50 fish per year. And I cannot even imagine the logistics that are involved with capturing this fish, collecting this fish, handling this fish, and transporting it. Um, this is one of the most magical fishes on the reef. This guy, when you see this fish, you're not looking at a scaled creature. You're looking at a uh, sentient being. This guy looks out this window all the time. And he's just always checking people out. He waits by this window. And I've heard that they have different personalities. And depending on their personality, will kind of determine what kind of trip they can get. So this guy's got a huge pool all to himself. He gets tons of love, super fat. I'm guessing they must feed this guy maybe like a pound of food uh, almost every day. Um, but either way, it's really, really cool to see such a calm animal. I've dove with them before, never been able to get this close, but uh, man, this is really a gem of a fish. I'm really glad I got to see it. So I hope you enjoyed part one of my tour here at Cans Marine, checking out all the different fishes. Um, this place is truly incredible, just seeing how much amazing livestock comes through. And um, that's just the half of it. So definitely stay tuned for part two, where I walk through the coral displays, the coral holdings, especially just a whole truckload of amazing, beautiful and colorful uh, shallow water corals from the Barrier Reef, including our favorite species, the Acropora. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit uh, that like button and subscribe because we got a lot more on the way.